Natalie. So I know lots of us have kids who are studying at home remotely and they'd like some sunshine, Rebecca, to get at least back outside so they can study online outdoors. We need more sunshine. When's it coming? Well, how about tomorrow afternoon? That's probably when we're going to see the most sunshine. It looks like it's going to be Friday afternoon and you've got to get it all in in one day because we're going to get another good soaking over the weekend and then we'll have another little break and then some more rainfall. So it's springtime. We're trying to figure out what our temperatures are going to be. And as that happens, we see what happens in springtime. We get a lot of hit and miss showers. Right now we have a lot of showers over the Seattle area. Very gray looking picture. You can see the most rainfall fell in that general zone where the winds wrapped around the uh, Olympic Mountains, the convergence zone, we'll call it. And a third of an inch of rain is what has fallen over Seattle. Some of the other winners for rainfall came to Kent at to over half an inch of rain, almost half an inch at North Bend Elementary School, and Issaquah just over a third of an inch of rain. And we're still getting rain in these, some of these same spots. Enumclaw up to Black Diamond. The rain is moving across your area and stretching into green water and up through the foothills. And Seattle, downtown Seattle especially, and across parts of I-90 going over Mercer Island into Sammamish. So there's plenty of of rain showers still out here this evening, impacting even Bremerton and Bainbridge. You're still in that little area where the winds are wrapping around the Olympic Mountains and coming together, lifting up and dumping the rain, but it brought our pollen count to low for both trees and for grass. Tonight, our rain showers are going to slowly come to an end, and it's going to allow some fog to develop, too. Overnight, we expect gradual drying to happen, so the showers you see right now on the Doppler and the satellite put together that's actually a little sunshine briefly around Port Angeles. You can see the Strait of Juan de Fuca getting a nice break. But if you are in downtown Seattle, you are in the midst of that zone of showers. And it's modeled here by the University of Washington High Resolution Model, which brings another round of a few showers to the coast overnight. But by the morning hours, we'll gradually be breaking out of our cloud cover. You'll see more sunshine. It'll be partly sunny tomorrow afternoon into the evening hours, even dry. So it's a nice stretch of weather, but it's going to last just one day. Temperatures low to mid 40s overnight tonight, but those rain showers slowly wrapping up. We'll have the patchy morning fog and low clouds clear out for partly sunny skies on our Friday. Winds will be light, high temperatures low to mid 60s. 62 for Bellingham and for Everett, 63 in Seattle and Olympia reaching up to 65 degrees. So a nice day tomorrow, but then over the weekend, rain starts on Saturday morning and it will change over to showers, which could be some thunder showers with small hail. It'll be breezy, gusty winds Saturday into Sunday. Sunday rain showers, they'll mainly be in the morning. We'll get a little break through the midday and then rain increases Sunday night into early Monday. Then we'll dry out again Monday afternoon through Tuesday. And then we have, of course, another system coming in for Wednesday. But as long as we get these every other day, little breaks of sunshine, I think we could do this spring quite well. All right, Rebecca, thank you.